get it one videos and here so I might just do a quick video about the on-screen controls for the Wacom 1. Now I've actually done an unboxing and quick overview of the Wacom 1 in a previous video. If you haven't checked that video out, I'll put a link in the description below so you can actually have a look at it after this if you want. But pretty much you'll find the Wacom 1 only has one button on the pen and you'll find there is actually no other buttons on the Wacom 1 display as well too. So it's very limiting there. And pretty much the on-screen controls, I didn't know how to do that in my previous seal, I was doing how actually had to use it, and it pretty much helps makes this Wacom one much more efficient and a lot more easier to use. So I'm going to go through to this now. The on-screen controls is not exclusive to the Wacom one tablet here. It does work for the other Wacom tablets as well, but this is what this will be able to do for this Wacom one. So pretty much, I'm going to go back a step. So you need to actually go find the Wacom stop center, go to Wacom one, go to pen settings. And under the settings, this is the little button that you can actually configure. Now, you can actually configure this to other things here. And this is what the on-screen controls here. Now, what on-screen controls allows you to do is if I just select here, say, for example, I'm in Photoshop here. So there is actually a Photoshop drawing here on here. So I select that. It will make it give you a bunch of other controls you can do. So I'm just going to close out of that, minimize that. And if I press, so I'm just drawing right now. And if I press the button here, when I think, you'll see on the top here, there's actually some controls that you actually can do. So we're actually giving me step back, brush, pen. So I'm just going to brush down here. And I'll just press it again. I've got a pen. So it changes to other things you can actually do there, which is kind of nice. I'm actually not there. Uh, lasso. So I'll just go down this one here. And that's what you can do for these quick pen and show. Now, just to give you a bit more power than what you can actually do with this here, we'll go back to the Wacom 1 pen settings go to on screen controls you actually they've got some presets here ready down there now what i would suggest is to actually make your own one so i'm just going to create a new one give it a name so i'm just going to call it new brush one okay so new brush one is now what i've got so here you can actually change all these up. So with, so I'll just go back to edit these ones here. Now you can actually change the actual style of this menu system, what it looks like. I would probably suggest that radio is actually really nice to use. Um, you can actually use that one, but radio looks really nice to use. You can see why. You also can make that menu a lot bigger as well. So this is what I was talking about. I'll show you what I'm talking about that once you see it in action. Click on OK. So you can actually display where you actually put it on the cursor, so where the cursor is, or where you press the, the button, it will come to a certain area here. So I'm just going to leave it as default, just clicking on OK. Now, with what I'll just show you what these ones here do, I'm just going to go back out, I'm going to click on, oh sorry, I need to actually make the pen as on screen, and now you'll see the new brush here. So I'm going to click on that one there, and I'm just going to close that off. So if I click on that one button here, you'll see over here, it'll be over here. So that's actually nice when it comes up, but this is what I'm talking about, the radio. So it actually just needs to come onto the left side here. So I'm actually going to tell you, go back to pen settings, go back to on screen, and we'll go to new brush. I'm going to edit it, display at cursor, and I'll just switch this around. Actually, what I might do is just make it increase to see what you can talk about there. Let's close that one off. Minimize that. I'll click on it and you'll see how much bigger that is. And it's actually underneath my cursor. So if I do it over here, you'll follow my cursor where it is. It's probably a good option to actually use. Now I'm also going to go back to the pen settings. I'm going to give you a little bit more, more advanced features here. So I'm just going to go edit pen setting. I'll bring it back down so it's not as big. I'll leave it radio. Now what you can do is under these pen assignments, which means all this menu here. Yes, you can configure all these menus here that you can use. So you can either give it a keyboard tropes. Um, precision mode is actually interesting. Basically, it slows down the... I'm just going to try and move this one, click on OK. Uh, I'll show that in a moment. I'm just going to set that to, to precision mode. Uh, the navigation, I actually like to zoom in. I'll actually use zoom out. Uh, you can give it other things here, switch now. You can actually choose a whole bunch of other things you can see from here. Application-wise, there's other things you can run. You can just set up scripts for it if you want. Uh, but I'm just going to do it here. So on-screen controls, there are already 
some default ones that Wacom have actually created already. So I'm going to click on Brush Tools from one of them. I'm going to use, oh, I'm going to actually use the wrong for Photo Colorist. And I'm going to set one for Wacom Screen Keys. And you actually can actually get a, a keypad as well. And oops, on screen keys. And actual cuts. Well, let's just close that and we'll minimize that. So I've just created a new document here just to make things easier. And I'll just gonna click on the quick on screen controls and I'm actually going to go to brush tools here. I've got the brush selected and I'm gonna just quickly draw. I'm gonna actually increase this brush size. You'll see it gradually make things easier. I might get smaller as well. And that's where I'm at. I'm gonna go and click on it again. Oh. And I'm going to bring in Colorist, Photoshop Colorist. Now you can actually change the panel, which is really nice to do. So, and we'll make things a little bit easier just to bring these things layer here. So you can actually move that as well too. How much are we going to try that? So you can do that. I'm going to bring it up to Colorist again. And you can actually fit on the screen. And you can actually save and just do some things here. And again, you can actually change these in the settings of course and I'm just going to bring this one here to awake on screen keys and pretty much you can actually go to the control center really quickly and displays as well and display will probably mean it's way up it takes a little bit of time for it to do you can actually change the brightness uh, and, and also the contrast very quickly in a way so that's really really, really easy and I'm just going to bring this one here, which is the keypad. And again, you can type in numbers and do some quick edits here very quickly here. So I'm just showing that keypad menu itself. And I'll just show app shortcuts. So app shortcuts allows you to do a copy, paste, back, forward, undo, fine. You can actually, again, probably click on settings and then you can actually change these. Again, you can change these very easily if you want. Or you just create new ones. You can actually have them create a new one inside of a new one as well too, which is really nice here. Uh, like I said, you can actually assign pre-controls in it, or you can create your own controls and then create another one. So you can create a sub-menu inside of a sub-menu there. Really nice to do. I'm going to quickly show you the precision mode at the moment. So at the moment, I'm just drawing normal mode. All right, so it's actually following my pen very well. I'm just going to go to on-screen controls, go to precision mode, and you'll see pretty much it's gone sl slower. Um, so it's more to be more, of course, Precision, right? that's pretty much about it, isn't it? So you can do that, and then you got to, it basically slows down the mouse. Um, really, really slow there. If you just click on that, go to precision, you got to, it's slow, you have to get the cursor to precision to bring it back to normal mode again. So it's, if you're doing some very fine tracing work, that's what the precision is very good for, I'm taking a guess. So I'm going to quickly show you another part of this Wacom one while I'm at it. So, because I actually got two of these tablets running with me right now. We're actually going to connect this Intruus one, a much cheaper tablet, which is over here. So I'm just connecting that up and you'll see the Intruus S. Now this is a lot cheaper here. That's this little thing here. So I'm actually going to try and run this exact same by side by side here. So I'm going to put the pen up on, the, on top. I'm going to put the pen down here. And I'm just going to quickly draw on there here. So as here, it's a lot not. So I've got pen settings. And I've got the interiors. Again, screen controls. And you can pretty much, oh, sorry, I've got to the pen first. And you can actually, so this one actually has two buttons here. I'm actually going to select the second button because it's disabled. I'm going to set it to on-screen controls. I'm going to go to my new brush, which is what I set before. And I'm just going to close that off. And so I'll just use the bottom button on this pen here. And again, you'll see the on-screen controls there. And so you can just use that as per normal way. So pretty easy there. If you find this video informative and enjoyed it, give it a like. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button bottom of the screen. I do try to upload a new video every Tuesday. And just remember, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. I'll see you next video.